and uh, we're so grateful to uh, Derek for sharing his testimony and for bringing that word to us too and we will be responding to the word as we share in Holy Communion in just a few moments. But first we come uh, to this moment of farewell where we get to say uh, goodbye uh, to Derek and to Hilary and to celebrate and give thanks for their ministry uh, amongst us. So a, a moment of farewell to the Reverend Derek Robinson <laughs> and Hilary. Um, you might not be a minister in the eyes of the Methodist Church any longer, but in our eyes. Yeah. And more importantly, in the eyes of the Lord, okay. we have no doubt that you continue to be an under-shepherd of the Good Shepherd, yes. the Great Shepherd. And uh, as you have been, as I've been thinking ahead to this moment, and uh, just now as well as you were speaking, these words have very much been in my mind, and I think we have seen them exemplified in your ministry from 1 Peter chapter 5, to the elders among you, and that is what you are, and continue to be. I appeal, says Peter, as a fellow elder, and a witness of Christ's sufferings, who will also share in the glory to be revealed, be shepherds of God's flock, that is under your care, watching over them, not because you must, but because you are willing, as God wants you to be, not pursuing dishonest gain, but eager to serve, not lording it over those, who entrust, uh, those entrusted to you, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of glory that will never fade away. We have seen those, uh, those words, that charge, exemplified in your ministry within Mex, and we are so grateful for it. Uh, I did ask, I do confess to asking that question of Derek as we got into the car at Cliff College, are you going to apply for the role? Not at all to suggest that it was a stitch-up. <laughs> Not at all. It wasn't my decision. Now, the, 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 the danger when I say that is either, it's not my decision, so don't blame me for all this happening. <laughs> Or to say um, that I didn't agree with it, because of course I did. Uh, it was a team decision, and as we met together, uh, there was a wonderful sense of the Lord speaking, both saying that he needed you in this role in Met, mm -hmm. and he needed others in other places who have continued to ex exercise their ministry there. Mm -hmm. And these have been unprecedented times. Uh, three C's are in my mind. <laughs> uh, nobody would have expected COVID to come. Nobody really saw the conference decisions moving in the direction that they moved and at the pace that they moved. But there is a third C that emerged out of those times of COVID and conference decisions, and that was a form of connectionalism that is a very important word for us Methodists. Uh, we, we talk about Mr. Wesley's connection, and they talked about it in those days as well. Well, the sort of Mr. Ballston's connection developed because you kept people connected uh, within COVID and within the heartache of these conference decisions. Uh, you played a role that only the Lord sees the significance of and that will only be seen in the, in, in the light of eternity. You played a role in keeping people connected across this nation uh, in a way that has been described uh, as a spiritual lifeline. And for that, many people here and many others will be deeply grateful, and we want to say thank you for that. Uh, let's express uh, our, our round of <laughs> and, and so, we have, no, no, I don't know what's going on there, but uh, it's a standing ovation. Oh, it's a standing ovation. Uh, I only asked them to give you a round of applause, but I don't know what's going on there. But, uh, um, I'm delighted to hear that there was a half-hearted stunning ovation. <laughs> um, or was it cramp? <laughs> um, I have no doubt, we have no doubt, that you are God's man for such a time as this. And we are so grateful for your ministry and for Hillary's ministry amongst, yeah. uh, alongside you. I'm sure in many ways it has been a privilege to serve within this role, but it has not been without its cost for either of you. And uh, we know that the Lord is faithful. And we know that the Lord is doing wonderful things in your lives. 
and that he will continue to do wonderful things in you and through you. And so we have a moment today to entrust you, again, into the Lord's care as you move into the next season of ministry, to give thanks for all that you've done amongst us, and to pray for his blessing upon you in the future too. Uh, we are deeply grateful for all that you have done ministering to us, and amongst us, and alongside us. So we want to say, Derek, thank you. And we've got a few gifts to give. Um, this isn't a gift, this is a card, but uh, here's just a card on, the, uh, on behalf of the whole executive committee to, who have been delighted to serve with you and alongside you. Um, have you got your clicker in your pocket? Yes, I have. Yeah, there it is. Wonderful. Uh, one gift has already been given, which is uh, a picture of Mao Kong. And, uh, oh, yes. uh, there it is. I can see it backwards in the reflection. And, uh, we thought it would be safer to bring a picture than uh, bring, the, bring a photograph of the picture than bring the picture itself. Uh, and that is hanging somewhere in Derek's house uh, as, a, as a permanent reminder of uh, Derek's ministry and the vision that has has uh, driven that ministry that the Lord would do again what he has done so wonderfully in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, and Mary, as uh, our General Secretary, is going to come as well and uh, say a few words. Well, Derek and Hilary, um, it's amazing that the time you spent with us in Met, it's been a real privilege to work alongside you and I just want to thank you for your faithful service, your inspirational leadership and the blessing that you've been to so many along with Hilary as your wonderful support. Mm -hmm. So I just want to say thank you um, on behalf of us all. And uh, I just want to present you with um, two cards. One is from the friends here at the weekend, yes. and the other is from the Met family, the wider Met family, and that includes a gift as well. So, thank, thank you so much. much. And before we move on, we're, we're going, we want to pray for you, and I thought that would be in two parts. Uh, we'll just have an opportunity for open prayer, first of all, yeah. and uh, let's keep the prayers brief and flowing quickly, but, but it would be wonderful to have a few voices all around the world, uh, the world, <laughs> the room, the room uh, um, praising God for this ministry and praying for, for the Lord's blessing. And then I'm going to ask Roz, who is our prayer secretary, to uh, wrap up in prayer. But perhaps uh, I just ask the executive members that are here to come out and, and uh, be symbolic of uh, standing around uh, uh, Derek and Hillary at this time. Roz, come out and be ready, one of our executive members, Lynn here as well. Um, so let's pray. Please do um, pray out loud. Um, give thanks to the Lord for this ministry. Commend them to the Lord's care. Pray his blessing upon them. And then Ross will continue. Can I just say thank you to you all for the privilege of being able to serve Met during these last few years. And thank you for the gift of the lovely picture. Uh, Mocop's not far from where we live. A very special place for Methodist history. And thank you for the cards and gifts and greetings. And I'd also echo my grateful thanks for uh, Hillary's support during this time as well. So do... Shout out the prayers nice and loudly and let's keep them flowing and then I'll ask Ross to close. Father God, we thank you for Derek and Hillary's time amongst us and Derek's time at Hillary's support with Derek. Uh, we just pray for them in these days going forward that you would uh, nourish them with your word and your spirit and lead them in those paths of righteousness. You'd have them walk serving you and your kingdom going forward. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you for those testimonies that we've heard this morning, and to them I add my own, of how valuable, especially during the time of COVID, that Derek's ministry has been, just encouraging us to feast on you and to feed on you in times of, that could otherwise have been so barren. So we thank you, we bless you for them, and we pray that you'll continue with them as you lead them into your future. Amen. Amen. Lord, we thank you for bringing Derek to us for such a time as this, with all the gifts and graces along with Hilary that he has uh, invested in Internet. And uh, we just pray for them now as they go forward, trusting in you and trusting in you alone for the future. So we just ask that you will continue to lead and guide and bless them as they step forward in your ways and in your hearts. Amen. Amen.
Father, thank you so much for all that you have used Derek and Hillary in mm -hmm. in these days. Thank you for encouragement, for direction, for strength, for comfort and support. Lord, please do lead them and open their eyes to see the direction you're taking them in, Lord, for the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Those words, Lord, I said, behold you, an open door. What I close, no one can open. What I open, no one can close. Amen. We thank you for the open door before Derek and Hilary now. And pray that you'll give them the eyes of discernment to see that door, to step through it in faith. Lord, we're trusting you for even greater fruitfulness in their ministry than ever before. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the way you led them to their house. And you've been with them, guiding each week as Derek's prepared. And for... Um, you know, that you've had your hand on them. Thank you for this man you've sent for this time, for his humility, for his love, yeah. his support, and Hilary right behind him there. So really bless this couple in you, Lord. They've been your people at this time, and may they continue to know fruitfulness in their lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, that um, Derek has been able to initiate new things um, in the UK message. Church, we've never had a UK wide prayer meeting before. The yeah. Bible study, we'll thank you for that, Lord. It's yeah. been so good to meet people here we've only seen on a Zoom screen. Yeah. So many, so many, just bless the Lord and grant him new initiatives in the future, Lord, in your name. Mm. Amen. As we're able, let's stand together for this final uh, moment of uh, praying for the Lord's blessing. Uh, on Derek and Hillary, commissioning them for all that the Lord has for them in the future as we send them out together now, giving thanks for their ministry amongst us. Ross, please lead us in prayer. Loving Heavenly Father, we do indeed thank you for the ministry of Derek and Hillary. They are your sheep. They know your voice and they will follow you into whatever you lead them into. Their ministry is not decommissioned. It is just entering a new doorway, yes. one which the Lord will guide you and lead you into. And we just pray for your blessing, for God's blessing to be upon both of them as they seek the Lord and find his direction in you. Lord, be their guide and let them know that you are indeed beside them, with them, and that you will never leave them. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. I'd just like to add my own thanks to, to, to Derek especially, who was always on the end of the phone, mm. as God gave me a new gift of prophecy, and I took the very first tentative and very uncertain steps it was, Derek, <laughs> God is saying this, what do you think? And I just want to thank him for his encouragement and for his affirmation of me. Just thank you, Derek. <laughs>